The idea behind the Cancer Research Institute was that the three divisions could take cancer research all the way from the bench to the boardroom. There's the cancer biology group who are looking at fundamental basic research to understand the mechanisms of cancer and identify targets and treatments for tomorrow. There is the clinical trials group which is really a world leader at investigating novel therapies again that will influence practice in five years and ten years from now. Uh, and the focus of our unit here uh, in the Division of Cancer Care and Epidemiology is understanding how treatment is being delivered now and what the outcomes are of patients treated today in the real world. Having us all together in one place and, and teaming us up allows bench researchers to design their research in a way that they are better able to actually help patients. So the Canadian Cancer Trials Group is a unique research organization. We are affiliated with all cancer centres. We're also engaged with researchers in 40 countries around the world. We are the only academic research cooperative group that have an embedded committee on economic analysis, recognising the importance of not just identifying new treatments, but being able to understand the value that that may bring to then help decision makers in government and others determine what are the priority drugs to bring forward for their population. Not very many cancer research scientists get to work side by side with clinical trialists. It's the difference between imagining what an invention might do and, and actually testing and having the ability to, to show that it actually can do something for patients. You know, in the near future we hope to launch Canada's first unit in global oncology. So-called diseases of the West or diseases of affluence are now becoming increasingly common in low and middle income countries, so namely diabetes, cardiovascular disease and cancer. So what we're focusing on within our global oncology unit is how we can lend support and capacity build to our colleagues in low and middle income countries where the cancer health systems are really uh, in evolution and in development. So we're at a pretty exciting juncture in cancer care and drug therapy right now. We have the ability to go all the way from the initial discovery to understanding how it affects actual real human beings.